So, we're now going to go for the UFO on the Duncan Throw Monkey. And it does not come back usually, so here's this way. And as you can see, kind of because of its shape and everything, it's quite wide, comes out quite high, but it's quite thin middle, it doesn't come back, it slows it down. But if you throw it this way, you can get quite a whacking speed sort of thing. I'll show you that once more, second, that way. There we go. Oh, wait. Too much and like put it around the whole area. Take it apart if you if it's um quite quick. Try and avoid taking it off because it twists your string, your whole string all the way up to the UFO to undo. So that's when you're doing a string, so you can't do UFO after that. Oops. Oops. bounced off the wall and came right back and I thought it was going to go into the kitchen. It just stayed where I wanted it. I can do whip. I can do whip. No, uh, way. No, I won't. It's quite easy for whips. As you can see. I will probably do counterweight another time. I don't know when. Maybe it's a Saturday. Well, for me it'll be Saturday. So my friend will be over. Because this is his yard I swapped it with. So I swapped it with him for my dark magic. Bad deal, but I need to do the review on it. Have to admit, I do like silent rubber yo yo's. They're nice, really nice. Just like Cameron's Just get out of the way, will you? My friend had one of these in a Viper. It's Pro Monkey Axle Snap, but don't take that as a, don't say that's a bad joke, but just do not track it too high and then drop it, but don't, don't influence, you do make that an influence on you to get in another one. Still get a Throw Monkey if you really want one. If you say, oh, I'm probably going to get a Throw Monkey, then you hear my review or anything, mm, do get one still. You just have to be a bit more careful with them than some yo -yos. The Axle snapped. I wanted this Viper, didn't obviously, but Vipers can go wrong as well. So this type of yo-yos, you know, speed explosion axles, quiet axles, all sorts of axles, you know, bearings, all sorts of bearings, all sorts of axles. You can do it, but I didn't know how to speed up. It does get quite a speed up. Just like the flying panda, only the flying panda is much faster because it's much more durable. So you have to be conscious about, you know, what tension you put your string on or whatever. Anyway, this is good for a string. Hard for a string sometimes. So you have to wrap it around very loosely. You have to get it so close to the to the middle. So it's quite a challenging thing to do, really. It's got like a dragonfly bearing, as I said before, and it works like a viper. You have to get it quite in the middle, really, or you get it, you know as close to the middle as you can and then wrap it round really loosely and then start to go tight. As you can see, it's hard to get the right tension. And it's another electric! Let's break our eyes! <laughs> I was young and I was doing guitaring and then I went the other room and I said, my other guitar was like, it's another electric! I was going into the other room, I thought I had to scream, but I didn't have to shout because you can hear it perfectly, really, without shouting. So, anyway, as you know, I have to go straight. 
and run. It won't come off though. You probably all know how to do a string. Start with the forward pass. Practice bit with both really. One way you just literally, you just chuck it in the air and then when it's come off, you catch the string. There's one way you go over your arm and you just slide it down, catch it like that. There's one way you just chuck it in the air, catch the string, turn sideways, just straight forward and catch it. But this is the four pass, you have to go like that. You slide it up, you catch it like that, and then it comes in. And then you can do a whip. But I'm not an expert in it at all. I can't really do any more off strings. Tricks I can do like brain twister sort of things. I can on my dark magic I can do lob thumb grind. So you chuck it in the air and your thumb grind. That's what I call it, lob thumb grind. I can do some things like that. I can do kind of plastic bit really. I could do the avalanche tricks, I could do cat's cradle. So my cheese are on a grind machine or probably a metal grind machine. Because they're good for balancing tricks, the hub steps come out quite far, and on um, plastic grind machines, if you did off string and you balance it, you put it on your fingers and then you put the string underneath, and then you did catch cradle with that, it might snap if it hit the floor. So it's best to do it with a metal grind machine, as I said, really. Because then what you do, what you want to do, what you want to do is to actually. Trapeze the yo-yo. So you just go. Trapeze. And then put your finger through the hole. Now to do trapeze on the yo on a Diab Diablo is the same as doing it on a string on a yo-yo. So you just do the Diablo. It's simple, it is Diablo basically off string. Just like Diablo, only you don't get it going like a Diablo. Anyway. Donk on throw monkey. Throw a counterweight throw and throw for off string throw. Skipping rope is a yo yo trick. Here's a very easy trick on a yo yo. What you do, you don't have to have it going for this, you wrap it. And you go. He <laughs> do sums. Bye.